Welcome to Universal Quantum Devices. Introduction to Logic 16 Coincidence Counting video. Here we will go over how coincidence counting works, its features, and how to access it in Time Tag Explorer. Coincidence counting mode allows users to count the occurrence of detection patterns. The user can create patterns by defining whether or not an active edge of an input signal has to be present within a coincidence window or if the input signal should be ignored altogether. Every time a pattern condition is met within the specified coincidence window, it counts as a coincidence event. When using coincidence counting mode, it is important to keep in mind that each pattern must have at least one active input, otherwise it is ill-defined. Multiple patterns can be counted simultaneously on board the unit. Ideally, there will not be more than one active edge on a single input within one coincidence window. If this occurs, a double error flag will be shown. For this demonstration, we will be using Time Tag Explorer as the software interface. You can view the FPGA version and resolution of the device on the right hand side panel. Let's go into Logic tab. Here, check off Use Logic to activate Logic Mode. On the right hand side display, you can see the single counts of channel 1 and 2. In this case, we are inputting similar signals to both channels. They both have the same period and pulse width, but are offset approximately 2 nanoseconds. The counts displayed are actually rates per 100 millisecond. This can be modified here under approximate cycle. Because of computer processing time, the actual time may be different, which you can view here. You can adjust the coincidence window over here. It is currently set to 10 nanoseconds, big enough to encompass both signals. You can view the frequency of counts here. If you'd like to view minimum and maximum frequency, check off store min max. You can set patterns by changing the condition of each input. On Time Tag Explorer, you can set up to 16 patterns. Each of the numbers here represent their corresponding inputs, starting from 1 to 16. You can see all the inputs are set to ignore by default. Therefore, no patterns are being read. For the first pattern, we'll set the input 1 to active. This causes the device to count every time there is an active edge on input 1 while ignoring all other signals it may be receiving. Similarly, for pattern 2, set input 2 to active. This time, we're getting single counts for input 2. For pattern 3, let's set both input 1 and input 2 to active. We're getting the same number of counts as the singles since every pulse of input 1 and input 2 are within the coincidence window. Now for pattern 4, let's set the condition to active for input 1 and inactive for input 2. An event will be counted when input 1 has an active edge within a coincidence window, but input 2 does not. In this case, the counts are 0 because the above conditions are never met. Let's introduce a delay. Go to Delay tab and enter 100 nanoseconds for input 2. This ensures that the active edges of input 2 are no longer within the coincidence window. Now you can see we are getting counts for pattern 4, but not for pattern 3. As you can see, the delay function can come in very handy when using logic mode. It allows you to compensate for cable delays and more, which helps you ensure you are getting the maximum amount of counts as possible. This video covered all the basic features of coincidence counting on Logic 16. If you need further instructions on how to use Logic 16 on Time Tag Explorer or other features of the device, refer to the manual or go on our website www.ukdevices.com. Thank you for watching.